is a free program. It's free for Mac, it's free for PC, and you can run it using an iPhone, or you can buy a box, or you can just use the software, a special lead that goes into your TV. And what it does is quite amazing. Basically, it allows you to go on the internet and pull off video off the internet. And you can lock it down as much as you want so it can be nice and safe. Or you can actually link videos you've made to it to have your own <coughs> school TV station. So if you actually put your videos up to YouTube or even better, Blip TV, which is a service where you can upload your videos, a bit like YouTube, you can actually take the feed for those videos and create your own TV. Let's see if I can um, find that by doing this, my apps, and here are my RSS feeds. If I'm linked into the, um, the actual um, internet, it should be able to find them. But if not, we won't. Let's see if it does. So it now finds my, what are called RSS feeds. I've put about 20 or 30 videos up there. Um, and I've linked them to Boxy. And when I click on them, and I have to tell you that after over five years, I filmed nearly most of the teach meets. Um, here you've got, and you'll be able to see this on your TV, as you can see up here, a listing, like an electronic, uh, electronic program guide. How many people have got Sky here? Yeah, with EPGs, you know about those, don't you? Very similar. So if I wanted to go to, say on, um, I don't know, let's talk about Russell Tarr, Easy Tools for Essay Writing. I just click on that, and I click on that, and hopefully it should load his film in. Just like that. Right, hello everybody. Um, I think it's hard to speak to itself really. I'm, I'm a teacher who I sell on the uh, wiki and the document. And I, I really love teaching, I really love visiting, but uh, my book there is marked and I absolutely detest marking essays I've made. So he's a secondary teacher, he's showing you how to use marking and stuff like that. Um, lots and lots of different people talking about lots and lots of different things. Um, there's uh, Zoe Ross talking about girls and technology. And uh, that will pull in again another film's feed and start playing it. Straight off the internet. You can play that straight well, off the internet. about um, engaging girls in technology? Okay, that particular film, I think, takes a bit of time to, to load up. But some do, some don't. And it's coming live off the internet, straight onto your TV. Okay? So that is really important. Um, I think if you have a TV in your uh, lobby of your school and you hooked up Boxy to a, to a PC or um, you put it on the um, internet... Um, Here we go. I'll leave that because it's stuttering. That particular one is stuttering. Um, as you can see, there are lots and lots and lots of films that I've made over the years. Boxy is just a smart front end to do that. If I go back and I go to things like BBC and start, it has got loads and loads, again, of feeds off the BBC, a bit like <coughs> iPlayer. And it will load iPlayer into it, and it will load the IC, ITV programs in, and it will play them. So if I go down to the science, this is probably podcasts, and click enter, I can go to all the different podcasts to do with science. It's a really, really good resource. If I come back to my home page, what is quite interesting, um, I can look up my movies, or I can um, go to local files. Now, I just so happen to have um, a project <coughs> ongoing with lots of people about um, Teachers TV. I don't know if you know the story, but um, a number of weeks ago, a lot of teachers downloaded Teachers TV uh, films because they thought they were going to go missing. And it does pan out that all the, um, uh, the TES and other people have put Teachers TV up, but they haven't put it up so you can download them. So we got 40 or 50 teachers and we all went onto Teachers TV and we all downloaded the files because that was fair under the licence. And there's nothing to stop us all sort of downloading the files and putting them on a small passport 500 gig disc. Nothing at all to stop you doing that. So if you put Boxy on your computer and you click on local disc, you have something called Teachers TV. And if I go down here 
and I click on something like early years in action and I click on play, we should be able to, with a bit of luck, this time on early years in have action, our own teacher's TV channel heating. locally in our school. Right. That's quite powerful. Mm -hmm. And that could be put on your um, Eating habits are developed server, age. And or it could be put on a local disc. And if you put the remote out for people in the lounge, in the front of the school, people can actually look at these or look at your own films you've made on your own disc. So you're beginning to get the idea of what connected TV is all about. So not only does it connect your own films, it connects any films you've got on your hard disc or any films you've got on your server. It's just a front end that's very good to be able to put a skin around all that media. And what's really interesting is uh, if you did clever things um, like, here's my home, uh, this, actually, this actually takes my Facebook feeds of all the people I know on Facebook, and it takes all the media out of all the things that people have posted on Facebook and puts them in a feed. So strangely enough, I can see what other people in my group all like Games for cats, yeah. So, you know, it kind of gives you an idea. Now, if you were to, um, to sort of put up, a, let's say, use a, a, a closed Facebook equivalent like Edmodo and take the feeds and drop them to Boxy, the kids could put up all their likes and all the different things. And there's also closed Twitter clones as well. You could pull all their feeds out. And if they put up, I like this and their links, you can actually skin them so you can see it on here. Not only that, you can actually see TV shows. Um... Let's look at the TV library. Will it play it for me? My TV library. Here we go. You can lock these down or up as you want. So basically, remember this is coming off the internet live. Uh, this is the... I don't think I'm going to be able to, sh to show the H HD. I think we'll go to SD because we haven't got a big <coughs> enough bandwidth here. But if I um, allow it because they're, they're, they're wondering on the, in, on the network here what's going on. Um, as you can see, the curse of the black spot is there. Not available in our area. It's locked down by this particular network in Oracle. They're not allowed to watch uh, Doctor Who, obviously, in work. <laughs> um, but uh, as you can see, Boxy is extremely powerful. You can put up podcasts. So you could take a lovely machine like this, and when you record all your uh, children's work, if you're doing music or if you're doing uh, MFL or other things or anything to do with uh, interviews, you can put them up as MP3 files online and or on a disc and you can read them through Boxy, so long as you put the Boxy front end on all the computers and set them up and get your ICT stuff. You've got a network station. You can send out Boxy's configured for your parents to see your own TV channel. Send them out an RSS feed if you, if you can do that. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of different ways of uh, being able to use Boxy. So there's just a very quick... Um, better turn off the black spot before I get into even more trouble with Oracle. Really. Um, is, is there no TV licensing or copyright issues with any... No, of course not, because those are all available on the internet as RSS feeds. What the firms would like you to think is that they'd like to... Sky would like to sell you a middle, uh, middle end for you to do it. There's no licensing issues whatsoever. You can pull all this stuff off because it's available. If it weren't available, you wouldn't be able to pull it down. It's as simple as that. And Boxy does also sell uh, a 200 pound uh, box that you can stick in between um, your computer and the TV or even just without the computer and it'll allow you to, to um, surf the net and find all these different shows. You have got in the, um, up here in the settings, you have got, um, obviously, because some of these shows are going to be only for parents, you can actually set up parental controls, and you can hide feeds, and you can skin it how you want it for the school, and you can lock it down and put passwords in. So that is a very, very powerful program, which is absolutely free, and can, you can create your own TV station with it. Okay, thank you.